Hi, could everybody be seated or face this way or whatever you'd like to do? I'm Steve D'Agostino. I'm the president of the Rotary Club of Auburn. And it's my pleasure and privilege today to introduce Skylar Mulvaney, who's the founder and executive director of the Horses and Heroes Foundation. She's also a member of the Malden Rotary Club. And she came to us uh, in the last few weeks to see if we wanted to work with her club to help celebrate this day and dedicate uh, Tarantino Strong in the name of Officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. So let me introduce to you Skylar Mulvaney. Skylar? Karen Jensen from Indian Rock Stables. I'm Sasha Massachusetts is going to do the honors of reading our speech. I welcome everybody here. On this day, we pay a special tribute to a fallen officer who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. He was an officer who was part of an elite group of men and women who do a daily battle against the enemies of peace and security, life and liberty. They are the thin blue line, that, and that line become even thinner on May 22nd, 2016. This presentation today would not have become a reality without the help of some incredible people. A sincere thank you to the Auburn Police Chief, Andrew Sluckis, Jr., and the men and women of the Auburn Police Department. To the Rotary Club of Auburn, which has been there from the beginning, the Auburn Police Sergeant Frederick LaFlash, and to Auburn Rotary President Steve Jones DiGostino. With their unwavering determination and perseverance, we would not be here today. To the family of Officer Tarantino, there is no speech or ceremony, no tribute or salute that can ease your pain. Our hearts are with you. We are truly humbled to be able to honor the service and sacrifice <laughs> of such a brave officer. His courage and compassion needed to be told and remembered. He was a true hero. Hero, the word gets used a lot. People talk about sport heroes, movie heroes, and comic book heroes. It's used so much that it sometimes loses its meaning. Officer Tarantino dedicated his life to keeping others safe. He got up every day and whole lots of nights and put on a reassuring uniform of the Auburn Police Department. Every day he stood on the line that separated good from evil and risked everything to make sure that evil couldn't hurt the good. He sacrificed his own safety to protect the rest of us. That's what we call a true hero. And he did it willingly. He could have picked an easy job, a safe job. Instead, he picked the hardest job. He chose a career with long nights on the roads, calls at, at all hours, and danger around every corner. Always a split second away, he lived and worked with the knowledge that any call at any time could be the one that went wrong. Why did he do it? All we can say is that police work is more than a job. It's a calling. There are certain people, special individuals, who have something inside of them that the rest of us don't. They have a drive to serve, a passion to protect, and a belief in sacrifice. They don't do it for the money. They do it because it's comfortable. They do it because they are called. We call these people heroes. And Officer Tarantino was a hero. I am the founder and executive of a charitable um, nonprofit, the Horses of Heroes Foundation, which is Sky, um, which is dedicated to remembering those officers slain in the line of duty or involved in selfless hero heroic events. We do this by naming horses in their honor. Our reason is simple. Horses serve as a living, breathing, strong memory. The bond between mounted officers and their horses is powerful. Our horses' names added to the connection. Such private impacts are joined by countless public ones. 
The horses give the mounted officers a prime opportunity to remind the public of the grave risk of police work. That's because wherever our horses go, one question is always asked, what is the name of your horse? When they get an answer, they often want to know more. The mounted officers explain that the horses are named after heroes. Now they are the names of horses that help police our communities and constantly remind us of those heroes. Each year on May 13th, the National Law Enforcement Officer Memorial Fund produces an annual candlelight vigil, a signature event of National Police Week in Washington, D.C. During the candlelight vigil, fallen officers of whose names were engraved on the memorial walls of uh, that spring are formally dedicated. Officer Tarantino Jr. is one of those officers. This year's ceremony will join together those who have been touched by tragedy. Though we grieve for the loss of Officer Tarantino, we must emphatically reject despair. Today's this presentation is about remembering, remembering a hero. This horse, Tarantino Strong, will leave for Washington, D.C. next week to embark on a new career to help protect, serve the public as a United States Park police horse. He will continue to remind us uh, who asked what his name is. He is Tarantino Strong. <laughs> we do this because we want police officers to be remembered. And a lot of them are not remembered after the funeral and they're gone. Time goes on. This is our way of remembering them. Tarantino Strong will be a United States Park Police horse. He is going to join other horses. He will join United States Park Police horse, Trooper DeMont, named after Massachusetts State Trooper, Trooper DeMont. He will also join with Detective Peeney, Framingham Police Officer, and, and it goes on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can the Tarantino family please come up here? I don't know you all, but I'm very honored to do this for you. That this horse out there, no matter what he's naughty, <laughs> he will go to Washington and he will become a United States Park Police horse. And on the other end, you will meet him and you will meet the United States Park Police. They are looking forward to meeting you. I'm sorry, meeting you and where you're going. Um, wish it would have been under different circumstances. I can't tell you how proud I am and honored to be able to do this for your husband, <laughs> who didn't deserve what happened to him. None of them deserve it. And they should all be remembered, no matter what they do. Honestly, this is why we do it. This is our 15th horse, and it, it it just gets better, you know, to keep the memory of the officers. So, you know, to give you the you also have a clap for you. And it says, bravery is not the absence of fear, but action in the face of fear. Thank you. 
Special round of applause for the Tarantino family and the Auburn Police Department. And Chief Swickus, would you like to say a few words before we wrap up here? Chief Andrew Swickus of the Auburn Police Department. I'll be uh, very brief. I see it's not raining out, so we can get outside. Nobody wants to see me. Everybody wants to see the horse, including myself. I just want to say uh, thank you very much to uh, both Rotaries and thank you to all of you for coming out today and taking time out of your day. It's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, this is a great living uh, tribute to Ron. I'm sure that uh, it's, uh, it, it's something he would be very, very proud of. We as a department are very proud of this. Uh, usually horses and police departments of this size uh, do not go hand in hand. It's usually reserved for big cities like New York and Los Angeles. And uh, it's, a, it's a great honor and privi privilege to um, be part of this. So thank you all so very much. Thank you. Is it true that you're going to get on board and uh, get I will on not board? be on the okay. board. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have a good photo opportunity. Maybe someday. Thank you very much for thank coming you. and uh, welcome to uh, go outside and meet our town here strong. Yeah, you 
Yeah, that's wonderful. He's listening to you.